Police investigators across eastern Oklahoma continue to search for the person of interest in the murder of NSU professor Tiffany Mayer. After leading police on a chase yesterday, Joshua Schneider managed to avoid capture again today. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is here with new details tonight. Dan? Yeah, uh, this right here is Joshua Schneider, the man police want to question in that murder. Right here is Heather Black. Today, we learned she is the woman investigators say was with Schneider when he fled from police yesterday. Tonight, police around the area and Tiffany's friends are just waiting and hoping for some answers. The last month and a half has been hell. It happened on the last day of May. Every day I think about it. Finally, a reason to believe. Gave me hope for the first time in a month and a half. Amy Proctor was Tiffany Mayer's best friend. Mayer, the well-liked, well-respected NSU professor, was found murdered in her Tahlequah home. Seven weeks into the investigation, a break. <sighs> I was thinking, get him, get him, get him. Police in Tulsa say they found Joshua Schneider. They chased him around the area Thursday, but he escaped. Tonight, the search spans from Tulsa to Tahlequah. Right now, officers are still actively pursuing Mr. Schneider. Tahlequah Police Chief Nate King tells me his detectives are following every lead. We've had quite a few citizens come forward with information. They've gotten tips. Schneider used several online dating websites. No word on if that's how he's connected to Tiffany. If Tiffany was on any dating websites, I did not know about it. Amy calls her old friend a social but private person, so anything could be possible. It's something officers are looking into. I feel like with every lead we follow up on, we're getting closer. Closer to the resolution Amy is confident they'll reach. It makes me feel hopeful that they're not going to let this go. She's not going to be forgotten. That she is Still tonight, investigators are uh, encouraging anyone who knows where Schneider or Black are to call 911. Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you. All right, Dan, thanks. Now, police found the car that Schneider was traveling in near Highway 169 in Pine last night. They say his two-year-old daughter was left alone in the backseat. Tonight, that little girl remains in protective custody.